Dr. Chitra, and uh, happy birthday, Srinivas. Thank you. Uh, it's really great to be amongst the top most speakers in the world. <laughs> and uh, it has been on time, so I was waiting since long, but it's well on time. So I'm so much impressed by the um, panelist and the chairman of this uh, debate. And also thanks to Sunil also for keeping up the time. Yeah, Sunil has done a wonderful job. Yes, that's all. Uh, regular uh, presentation is going on. There is no interruption. Do it on your time, Dr. Kamalji. Get to your yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the training program is governed by MCI postgraduate uh, regulation of the 2000 year. And uh, what is our goal? The goal is to produce competent established uh, specialists who are expected to master most of the competencies. And uh, if you look at the te techniques of training, you will find that uh, it remains the same. It does not change since long. And when a uh, student comes to us to do MS ophthalmology, he has already done his MEBS. And perhaps I think that he has wasted six years of his youth in learning the art, which he has to unlearn later. When they join, they know nothing about ophthalmology. There is not much of uh, teaching in ophthalmology in MBBS. The whole uh, course lies uh, in the interest of the medicine and the surgery and bionics. So the process of unlearning begins from the day they join the uh, post-graduation. So first we make them specialists and then they have to be made super specialists. The, so they first they learn uh, what they have learned in uh, MBBS and then they unlearn what they have learned in MS ophthalmology and become super specialists. Methods remain the same. Mostly we have to ask our students to go to OPD wards and do reflections, seminars, general discussion. Only problem that I feel is the research and didactic lectures. The teachers in the department, they don't take uh, lectures usually. It is the other way around that the um, residents teach the teachers. So didactic lectures are very important. That is not there. And statistics is missing because we don't teach much of statistics. They have to do research work and it, many a time they fail in that. So I went through several uh, literature and I found that uh, what is the goal of this? The you have to train them, surgical training, academic training, and you have to make them a good teacher also. So these goals have to be achieved. And uh, further, I went through the literature and I found several very good articles on this PG education. And uh, I found that uh, the shortcoming that is there is the that they don't assist it in the posterior segment procedures corneal surgeries, laser surgeries, that is not available in most of the medical colleges. And therefore, they lack in these uh, specialties. So this calls for a serious introspection by the authority to allow such institutes to keep them, uh, to keep uh, the training at a par so that they learn a lot on, in various subjects of the ophthalmology. So there are fellowships after that. You learn cataract, refractive surgery, glaucoma, retina, and pediatric ophthalmology and oculoplastic. So that also comes up. And uh, in the year 2006, when I gave uh, my presidential address, I said that it's cataractology, cataractology, and cataractology, and it still holds true. The training program has not changed at all. And what about the trainers? They are not trained. What I learned about 30 years back, uh, if I am interested, I go to various conferences and then learn. And otherwise, I have a uh, lack of knowledge. And there is so much of exposure of new gadgets is required that many a times trainers fail. So there is explosion of new information, which is very, very essential for the teachers to learn. And there is no program for trainers. So my submission here is that uh, this debate is not for just the opposition. It is for the constructive suggestions and, uh, and okay, not just for the sake of opposing and we have to reach to some solution and it will not be futile debate like we have in parliament. So basic problem is infrastructure that has to be developed and whether the instruments are functional or not, all these uh, surgeries can be learned if you have a good infrastructure, which is not available there. Syllabus remains the same. Whatever you want to teach, you can teach. 
only these equipment even these basic equipments are not there in many of the medical colleges so the infrastructure is more important than anything journals are very few in the library although you get these online these days and uh, students are more interested in learning the surgery rather than publishing things and uh, publication is just for the promotions of the consultants wet lab facilities are very poor mode of um, this thing need of the r is a structured uh, review of the training program and it should be always regulated peer reviewed and uh, there are modules Thanks, available in ico and nv also so you can always look at that and finish up that my proposal is that uh, you have to teach them how to well, do a good spectral business contact lenses financial support should be there a good clinical setup and you look at the mbas they they work for two uh, two years only and they think of making an industry and what we think of is a opening a small shop close to the barber shop so that all that should be changed and uh, i would say that uh, dr minakshi would agree with me and we can come to some conclusion later thank you